Craig, that was awesome. All that working out's working. I can't yep. believe it. And you're getting the muscle tone back in your arms. Oh, well, thank God. My approach has been a uh, woman thing uh, uh, from the beginning. I've known Craig for over 20 years, and I knew him before he was diagnosed with ALS. In fact, he actually came here from the University of Michigan Hospital the day he was diagnosed. I believe it was August 16th, 1994. And uh, it was in this room, I remember him coming saying, they say I have Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS. And we both made a pact that we would do everything possible to uh, keep him alive. And amazingly, he's done that. Diet, uh, exercise, a detoxification. I look at someone like Craig Oster, who has, has made significant strides because of nutrition and because of his lifestyle choices. If you have that lifetime learning as part of who you are, that curiosity will never go away. Craig is an extraordinary person. Uh, I can't say enough about that. Uh, he really is, is incredibly intelligent and his tenacity and his will to live is just, you know, uh, uh, noteworthy. He pretty much is alive, I think, because he has tried to heal himself on every level that a human being can heal. It's his sheer determination for one thing. He was determined not to die and wanted to beat this thing. He wanted to, he wanted to heal and get better. That was number one. Number two is that he has sought so many different ways, so many different, um, looked so many directions towards healing. Uh, you know, what is out there? What can I find? The reading that he does. He always asked really excellent questions and he seemed to do his own research on, on many topics. Craig is really unbelievable. I have never met anybody quite like him. Wonderful sense of humor. If you met Craig, you know, that's an integral part of who he is, is a, just a wonderful sense of humor. He's also a very good person at giving feedback. He'll, again, with that self-awareness, um, when you're in the same room with him, when you're breathing the same air, it's not all about Craig, um, and it's not all about you. It's, a, it's an interplay. Craig is doing quite well, as you know, people with ALS don't usually live very long. When I first saw Craig, yeah, he was. He was, what I recall, he was he was going downhill. He had been diagnosed with it. Nobody knew what was wrong. And then they had the diagnosis of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or Lou Gehrig's disease. And I remember back then, some of our protocols aren't as good as they are now, okay? But we still do precautionary things at that point. And we removed his amalgam fillings. And we did put him on some supplementation and uh, try to help him with his dietary concerns, etc. cetera. And um, he seemed like he, he was improving. Seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, and ten. Nice. He's so dedicated to the, to the true elucidation of what can be done for ALS. He knows that alternative therapies, be they spiritual or physical or biochemical, um, have had an incredible impact on his life. How can anybody graduate from hospice? and still be alive today if they haven't done something really dramatic other than the conventional medical um, system. So our body has the ability to tell us how we're sick and how we can be healed. And we need to get in touch with that. Allah, 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 Allah. He does a lot of meditation. Uh, he does you know mindfulness training he works with his breath and then he has people come and work on him with different methods so I've been honored to be a part of that team but really Craig has been the commander I'm just completely impressed with how he's been able to use our work together not only for his physical uh, well-being but also the work that he is doing to reach out to others from the confines of this apartment his spirit has actually grown over time and not only more intense, but more um, wonderful, more um, hopeful, more engaging, um, 
he's just really quite an inspiration. Cognitive function is really important in people who can live with a disease. There's the spiritual component. The mind and spirit is really, really important to be nurturing that. And, you know, the thing about Dr. Craig is he's, he's done that for so many years in, in reading and better understanding how all this holistic approach connects together to help him live a life as best he can under the circumstances. I am so proud of him in what he's accomplished, okay, and, and what he's been able to do and, and the spirit in which he lives in the situation that he's in. He's truly one of my heroes.